Hello to all. Today we are going to discuss about the subphylum of the chordates and that is known as the Eurochordata, which are also called as the Turicata. Now you must know that why they are called as the Eurochordates. Euro means tail, means in them, in the larval stage, the notochord is found only in the tail region and that's why they are called as what? The Eurochordates. And why they are called as the Tunicata? Because they have a test or a covering on their body made up of the tunicin and hence they are called as the tunicata. Right? Now the very first character is that all the members are strictly marine. They are purely found only in the marine water only. They may be free swimming or they may be attached to some substratum like the rocks. Adults are fixed generally but the larva is generally free swimming. In a couple of minutes you will see that there is a free swimming larva present in this subphylum and that is known as the tadpole larva. Adults have a test over their body. Adults have a test or a covering on their body which is made up of a tunicin. Tunicin is basically a carbohydrate. It's a polysaccharide, heteropolysaccharide in fact I will say and that's why the eurocordates are also called as tunicates because of the presence of a tunicin covering. Now, why they are called as the Eurocordates? You can see again, notochord is found only in the tail of the larva. Euro means tail. Notochord is found only in the tail of the larva, which is lost during the process of the metamorphosis. So the chordate character is found only in the tail region of the larva. So they are given the name Eurocordata. Now, only one chordate character is found in the adult. Normally, you will see that the larva is more advanced than the adult in these organisms. So only one chordate character will remain in the adult and that is known as the pharyngeal gill clefts. Otherwise all the chordate characters are lost in the adult. Okay, So they have pharyngeal gill clefts in the adult. The blood vascular system is open type. Means blood is not flowing in the closed vessels. It is found in open spaces. And the heart is ventral in position. Respiratory pigment is not the hemoglobin just like the higher uh, chordates. They have a respiratory pigment known as the vanadium which is found in special purple cells called as the venidocytes. Okay. Now excretion is by suprarenal gland or by pyrolic, pyloric gland or by the nephrocytes. Again I am repeating excretion by suprarenal gland or the pyloric gland or the nephrocytes right now most of the animals are bisexual and in them each gonad is consisting of testes as well as ovaries in it right you can also call it as ovo testes means each gonad is having testes as well as ovary Fertilization in them is external, means it occurs outside the body in water and generally they have cross fertilization. The development is indirect. What is indirect development? We know very well that the development is through the larval stages and therefore they have a free swimming larva and that free swimming larva is called as the tadpole larva. Now this feature is very important that is the Eurocordates member shows red Retrogressive metamorphosis. Now what is retrogressive metamorphosis? A retrogressive metamorphosis is a metamorphosis in which the larva is more developed than the adult. Means at the time of the metamorphosis, many characters are lost in the adult. So well developed free swimming larva is changed into a less developed adult. Such type of the metamorphosis is called as the retrogressive metamorphosis. Now, in on the ventral region of the pharynx region, they have an endostyle and this endostyle is having the power to absorb the iodine from the water and therefore it is designated as that it is homologous to the thyroid gland of the mammals. This question was asked in the exam that name a structure found in the eurocordates which is homologous to the thyroid gland of the higher mammals that is known as the endostyle. They are ciliary feeders. Now what is a ciliary feeder? Ciliary feeder means it is a mode of feeding in which the cilia shows movement because of which they generate water currents 
and due to the water currents what happens the microorganism move towards the organism's body this is known as the type of the feeding known as the ciliary feeder now the best examples of this eurocordates are herd mania right it is very common example it is called as the sea potato it is also called as the sea squirt acid that is known as the acidia next is the doliolum very common member doliolum which is having the barrel shaped structure salpa and a very important member known as the pyrosoma this pyrosoma is having the power to emit light means it is having the bioluminescence bioluminescence power is found and the bioluminescence power of the pyrosoma is the strongest in the entire organisms found in the marine uh, body okay so these were the general characters uh, for the eurocordates or the tunicates keep watching my videos we will be coming soon with few more videos based on the chordates so if you want to take the screenshot of this video you can take